The complete Chicago Manual of Style is available to WVU students as an ebook. To access the ebook, choose the Books Media tab, type Chicago Manual in the search box, limit your results on the left to ebooks, and choose the most recent edition, which is 2017. View ebook. The link in the catalog takes you to the Chicago Manual of Style Table of Contents page. You can see that the manual covers many issues related to research and publication style. Please note that several editions are available online. You want to use the 17th edition as it is the most current. The section of the Chicago Manual of Style that you will use most is Part 3, Source Citations and Indexes. Specifically, you will use Chapter 14, Notes and Bibliography. Do not use Chapter 15, Author Date References. This format is utilized by social sciences and science subjects. Chapter 14 provides guidance on formatting both footnotes and bibliography entries. The chapter first provides an overview, section, basic format examples, general information about footnotes, and general information about bibliographies. Following these sections, you see an, a section on author's name, and a section on titles with helpful information. But more importantly, following those sections, you get specific examples by source type, books, periodicals, websites, blogs, and social media, interviews and personal communications, papers, contracts, and reports, manuscript collections, special types of references, audiovisual recordings and other multimedia, and finally, legal and public documents. Notice that the Chapter 14 Overview section at the top includes a section for information about sources consulted online. The Chicago Manual of Style no longer requires or even recommends including a date accessed in a footnote or bibliography entry for, for, for online sources. Section, section 14.12 explains why. Quoting the manual, an access date, that is the self-reported date on which an author consulted a source, is of limited value. Chicago does not therefore require access dates in its published citations of electronic sources unless no date of publication or revision can be determined from the source. Knowing your way around the table of contents in the Chicago Manual of Style is very helpful, but you may also want to use the search box in the upper right corner. If I type access dates in the box, I get a list of results, and the top result is that section 14.12 that we just looked at. To return to the Chapter 14 Contents list, click on CMOS 17 Contents at the top and choose Section 14 again. The Chicago Manual of Style provides very specific examples. For instance, if I scroll all the way down to Section 14.104, I get examples for sources that have both an author and an editor or a translator. So again, here's the short explanation at the top, followed by specific exa examples of footnotes and specific examples of bibliography entries. There are many quick guides to Chicago Style online, but it is important to know your way around the full and official Chicago Manual of Style in order to correctly cite all sources.